What is up guys? Today is Saturday, December 17th, 2022, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a mail day, which is comprised of three parts. Possibly my most insane mail day of singles ever. So one is a trade, one is an eBay purchase, and one is a purchase from Panini America. And you guys might know what it is based on my last video, uh, video that was a mail day video as well. So first things first, uh, I did a trade with Sal, you guys might know from Golden Gold Breaks. And um, I gave him $20 plus... A, uh, the 15 out of 15 uh, Purple Wave Kula Bali that I pulled from my Merlin Hobby Box earlier uh, this fall or at the end of summer. And in, uh, in response, he traded me some singles, which were bonuses, but this card in particular that I've been looking for for a while. 2021-22 Panini Obsidian Soccer. Declan Rice, of course, in that West Ham home kit. Red Flood, which is a Team All Asia exclusive. And this one's numbered four of only 10. All these Red Floods are out of 10. Super short print, gorgeous looking card. I've been wanting this for a while now, and uh, this is a great showpiece for the PC. So thank you, Sal. Uh, very nice trade for both uh, for fulfilling both of our PCs. All right, second part is going to be a eBay purchase that I made a week ago. Four cards, uh, all shipped from Hong Kong. This one person or this one seller uh, was basically liquidating all of the high end West Ham stuff that I've been chasing for a while, and there were like twenty or thirty like super short prints slash one of one slash autographs and everything. And I did pick up four cards from the seller, and it came here a few days ago with very fast shipping. So card number one that I bought for $90, gorgeous looking card, 2021-22 Panini Score Premier League Soccer, one of one next level stats insert of Aaron Cresswell, of course, in that gorgeous black laser with eight assists. Very, very nice. That is just a beautiful looking card. Again, not the most high-end set. In fact, probably one of the most low-end sets, but... Um, Personally, I think it is a gorgeous looking card. And then the next one, card number two of four, is a 2020 slash 21 Panini Chronicles Soccer, Jared Bowen. And this is a Gala Rookies insert, a rookie card, numbered seven of only eight. And these Gala Rookies can only be found in this like base parallel, which is out of eight. And uh, there's only a few on the checklist, and Jared Bowen does have one of them. So I've been chasing this for a long time for my Bowen PC. I think I've only seen one of these pop up on eBay before, but I did uh, unfortunately miss it. So I will take that for $130 uh, with the opportunity cost. You know, I think it's worth it. And then the third card for $120, I know I splurged a bit on this one, uh, on this just whole, whole buying and stuff, but this is a very rare opportunity. And this is one more step in the direction of completing my rainbow of the 2020-21 Panini Obsidian Soccer Pablo Fornals Vitreous Die Cut Insert. And this is the Black Finite Parallel. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And I've never seen a Black Finite in person, uh, so I think it does speak for itself with how good that looks. And especially, you know, even on camera, it looks pretty good. One of one on the back there. Very, very nice. And then the final card is edit from Immaculate. For $150, I picked up not everyone's favorite player by any means, but 2021-22 Panini Immaculate Collection Soccer Laundry Tags Platinum 1 of 1 patch with that uh, Nike swoosh on his uh, Chelsea home kit. 1 of 1 on the front. Very, very nice, as you guys can see there. Platinum Parallel. And then there's the back, which is LT, KZ, so laundry tags, Kurt Zuma, and it's match worn. So again, I think that was a pretty good deal. Um, although it's part of a Chelsea kit, it is featuring him in a West Ham kit. So I will take that with the Premier League patch on his sleeve. So let me know what you guys think of these, these buys. Three of them are one of ones. And then, I mean, really to me, this Jared Bowen is so rare that it can almost be considered as a one of one on itself. Um, so yeah, that is the second part of the video, which is probably my craziest splurge on West Ham singles. But again, how often do you see like, you know, 20 or 30 one of ones pop up and, you know, got to, got to capture the opportunity just like when I was at nationals. And then for this last part of the video, I did buy a package from Panini. Uh, this is a Panini instant world cup, of course, as you guys always know, autograph card and is of a very special player who has never signed for Panini before until now. So this, uh, this I ordered on November 28th, and then this got here actually earlier today. So empty box there. And then I'll take out the packing slip, which is right here. So there you go. 
Gavi autograph, turquoise out of 10, $3.99 before tax. I mean, really not that bad of a deal considering that he's never signed a licensed card before. And a couple of people on my Discord server were able to get this because I did ping them for it. So if you guys are interested, feel free to join my Discord server, linked in the description down below. And this is history made right here, guys. Rookie autograph of Gavi for his goal in the 7 0 route against Costa Rica in the group stages. Wow. First ever time seeing a Gavi auto in person. This is Gavi's only, first ever, and only licensed rookie autograph. The only other uh, autograph he has is actually with Leaf, but of course, Leaf is, un um, is unlicensed. And this one's numbered out of 10. And you do want his jersey number nine. Will we get it? Five of 10. So not the jersey number, but you know, can't really complain. And uh, the good thing, this is also number 48 in the set. So he does have a base, a Versicolor out of five, black one of one base. And then of course the turquoise auto out of 10 and the one of one auto, uh, which I can't remember how much it went for. Like, was it like $2,000 or something like that? Panini does charge some pretty crazy prices. But um, the thing is, the 2021 slash 22 season was his rookie season. And then the rookies from that season are also included in the World Cup set. But the thing is, Gavi didn't have any autos in Prism World Cup or Mosaic Road to Qatar. Um, and he doesn't have any autos in Eminence either, which is the upcoming World Cup release, which means that this is basically the last chance he has autographed in uh, before his rookie time frame expires. And which is why I think this might be his only ever rookie autograph card which uh, 10, of made, 10 of these are made for the turquoise and then one of one for the black. So only 11 licensed rookie Gavi autos exist and I have one of them here. What a treat. So let me know what you guys think of this and I will catch you guys next time with the uh, giveaway video.